What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Infinite Magic Raid, and today we're going to be testing out our Nicholas as part of our PvE team. Of course, we have Ben Austin, we have our Lucifer, we have all these heroes, uh, but I'm going to try to test him out because, of course, his Christmas surprise really does amp up the all damage dealt of our attack heroes, um, especially that we have E3, it's a 30% extra boost. I want to see how this actually performs. Now, I know what I usually be like damage wise do on a certain stages. So level five, we usually do about 100 to 105 uh, million damage. I'm wondering if going all in on one hero, like literally dropping even you and putting you in is a better option. Uh, the other thing is I kind of want to like mix this order around just a little bit. Or if dropping the Luna is the better option and keeping our burn hero in, which is Melia, to do the additional damage. I'm thinking we'll try it like this because this is the most like uh, our standard that we've set up. Let's add a team down here because we are going to have to modify this right here. Uh, I'm kind of cool with him using everything. I kind of want to prioritize his speed down right here. Do I care? Not really. I guess I guess we'll just make this like the, the preferred skill to use. For you, we're kind of cool with anything, whatever your order is. We're going to ban this one here because we don't want Regal Might at all. We don't care about that. It's just going to slow us down. Uh, and then we want to use this as the preferred skill and have it up as much as possible. So let's run this. Let's see how it turns out. Uh, we do have to end a multi-battle. That's fine. Thank you for those resources for the holiday event. And let's go. Like I said, we usually sit at around 100-ish. Uh, we're putting Nicholas in slot one just because he does have that effect res lowering ability. And I want to make sure it gets applied first, even before the Catherine. Because that just means all these debuffs are better. We do have a deep damage aura on our Ben nowadays. Which is really awesome. Because just giving that little bit of extra bonus damage on our PvE team. Seems to work out really, really well. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Like I said, traditionally if we had Luna in instead of the Nicholas. We would probably be dealing about 100 to 105 million. Let's see how this turns out. Already seems pretty good because by round four, we already have 25. That is pretty solid. I just don't know if it's better running a burn hero plus our Lucifer because our Lucifer just has so much invested in him. He's just the best hero we have on our account. Or if it's better dropping the Melia. I want to see how much damage the Melia does to see if it's worth it or keep the Luna around for, you know, cleansing off the stuns, increasing our turn meter time and things like that. Giving us more attack. Those can all be good. So we're going to literally do a test here today to compare on stage five. Now, stage six is a little different because adding the Nicholson would be the better option, in my opinion, keeping him alive and our team alive. The Melee essentially keeps four to five stacks over HP burn up pretty much the whole time, which is why I don't run another HP burn hero because I feel like it would just kind of be overkill since it only stacks to five. Uh, but we'll see. Damage is looking pretty solid. It looks like it's going to be an increase of maybe 20 million damage overall. Which is very cool to see. I imagine, honestly, running Nicholas with a burn hero is really good. Because the effect hit chance of actually applying those burns is much higher in this case. And we pretty much are keeping that 5 stack up, which is really, really cool. Good time for counterattack. Get everybody to hit their attacks right here. Looking good, looking good. We're definitely getting over 100 million. This definitely already feels better having the Nicholas over the, the Luna. Question is, is dropping the Melia and giving our loose for more attack more worthwhile? Like, because it doesn't do, the burn doesn't do that much damage. Like, it does pretty much the same as the basic from a Lucifer. I just don't know because this attack down is kind of brutal. And if we have Luna, Luna can actually get rid of that attack debuff on us, which might mean more damage. We're already past it and we still have two turns to go.
Yeah, we're, we're kind of low on the stack a little bit towards the end here. So it's not like we have the five stack up all the time. 115. So again, that was a little bit better. But let's go through and adjust this lineup. Let's instead put Luna back in this lineup. Gonna have to clear out another spot here. <laughs> We're just making room. We've made we've saved so many lineups through the years that it's just kind of crazy. Uh, let's get what this is the starter. Yeah, let's start there. Let's ban this. That's fine. And honestly, she's fine too. So yeah, only really only tweak is getting Ben to not use his ability. Let's now compare. No burn damage. Everything is pretty much riding on the Lucifer. The chance the fact that Luna also stealths our heroes is kind of good for the Lucifer because Lucifer has a higher crit chance when he is stealth. So we'll see. It's really hard to beat HP burn heroes though in this game, and just having a full support lineup to go with one damage dealer. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Granted, she's also giving us turn meter, which is awesome. It gives us more attacks, especially in combination with the slow that we have from Nicholas. She's gonna be very big counterattacks right here. Whoo, 746 per ping, that is a lot. We are behind though, you can already see here. We were a little bit further ahead, I feel like, with the Melia on our squad as well. And of course, if we did get an E3 Melia, then we would probably definitely be a better outcome because she'd be doing like, what, 25% more burn damage or 15, somewhere in that ballpark from her E3. We definitely have plenty of shielding. That is for sure. I wonder if we could just like, you know, stop. Well, actually, no, we don't want to stop him from shielding because... Nicholas's shield also grants us speed, which means we get more attacks off for every enemy attack. So we have a slowdown for them, we have a speed up for us, and we have a turn meter boost. All those things very, very good for us. And Luna does provide Lucifer, again, like I said, more chances to stealth, which is gonna increase his crit chance and make sure he stays at like 100% for all of his hits. Wow, he's almost doing a bill or a million damage. Billion, that'd be crazy. We're not there yet in this game. A million damage when he's got all those buffs kind of ramped up. Looking solid. I do think we're falling behind though compared to the HP burn. The order is kind of getting messed up here because Ben is kind of like late on his ability to get that deep damage application, that gold debuff that you see right up here. Oh, it just disappeared. One second, right here. That gold debuff, that is the deep damage, meaning all people do more damage. I think I want to do a different aura on Lucifer. I'm probably regressing it soon. It's the turn meter one, so when he kills someone, he gets 45% turn meter. I think instead, I'm going to give him the legendary one that does more direct damage and 25% bonus damage against bosses. I think that's the one I really want to go for, and then he will definitely be the true winner in this outcome here. Yeah, he's almost hitting for a million with that basic on each ping. We're definitely going to get over 100 million, which is the important like mark. You want to make sure you're doing at least 100 million with each attempt on these bosses. Still got two turns. I mean, it looks pretty close, honestly. Gonna probably get one more attack off. Yeah, it looks like one last attack right here just because it's slow. I mean, it's close. It was what, 115 versus 110. So not that big of a difference. But the big thing is Nicholas literally added like 15 to 20 million damage to our attack, which is pretty impressive. I will say that. The all damage dealt definitely does help. I'm gonna grind this one out right here, guys. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoy this one though. Let me know what you guys think. Nicholas is just becoming like the best hero in every game mode right now. It is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.